All right, guys, uh, thanks for joining me in this next video. This is part eight or nine. <laughs> and uh, what we're going to do in this one is to just use a little bit of math to figure out how we can get to a particular point on the playground. I want to uh, create a block and I'm just going to call it uh, like go to go to X and then add an input X target. That's what I'm going to find. And then go to Y. And this, this helps to, to, as you're going to use this function later on, this will help you. But now we want our Y target. All right. So now what this is going to do is I'm going to say, Hey, I want you to go to X one, Y one, and then I want it to go there. Okay. Uh, we, know that uh, we can get there by saying drive a certain amount in one direction, turn right, and then drive a, a certain amount in another direction. I want to start by doing my X value. So I'm going to say drive forward or excuse me, turn right. I'm going to use heading and say turn heading to 90 degrees and then drive forward. Now drive, I want to drive forward an amount that has to do with my X target. So right now, if I were to just put that in there like that, I were to use this function and then I were to say, hey, drive, you know, 200 and I push play, it's gonna turn 90 and then go forward 200. And so if I did some math in my head and I said, okay, well, I know I'm starting at negative 900 on the X and I wanna go to the zero, uh, then I need to go 900 and then it's going to go to the uh, zero on the x-axis. But I don't want to have to do that math all the time. Uh, so I'm going to have it do some of the, I'm going to have it do the math for me. Um, and so the way I can do that is no matter where my robot is, I can use this value position x in millimeters. And I can say that where I want to go, if I'm at negative 900, to get to zero, what am I doing? Well, I'm adding 900. The addition part um, is uh, it's not always going to work quite right. I found, um, and I mean, you could probably do it with addition, but I'm going to use subtraction. Uh, I say subtract where I want to go from where I am right now, and then that should give me that value. So we're subtracting a negative 900. So there you go. Oh, because <laughs> we went to position 900. Now let's say I want to go to position zero. There we go, turns and goes to position zero. Perfect. And oh, by the way, you can right click and say duplicate like that. So now instead of the X target, I want to use the Y target and I want to change this to Y and I need to turn my heading to zero degrees. Uh, so super easy uh, way to get your robot to always go to a particular X, Y location on a map. So, but this right now, this way that it is, uh, is the easiest and no matter where it starts, uh, wherever the robot starts, we can get it to go to the next location. So e even if it has to go backwards, so let's get it to go back to where it was. Negative 900, negative 900. It's just not going to drive forward. It's going to it's going to drive in reverse because what is happening is it's saying go forward for a negative amount, which the robot is interpreting as a going in reverse. Okay, so I hope you like this. I uh, hope I want to try and keep these a little bit shorter and uh, give you some ideas about how you might be able to use this. Okay, thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed.